la 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 Y'all got some healing to do, huh? Y'all cutting off people? Y'all got new starts. Somebody got to get real with they self. We rocking. This will be for the sun, moon, rise, and Venus, as well as the cross watches for the sign of Leo. Um, If you're new to my channel, hey, boo, hey. I'm Mocha. <laughs> also, if you're new to my channel, I may cuss a little bit, may cuss a lot, just depending on what the hell these cards say. Of course, you know this is not a personal, it's a general. If you need a personal, that information can be found within the description of every single video, including this one, okay? Um, I, if you have not gotten in on that $10 uh, one, cu one question reading 10 minutes um, for 10 minutes, please do so because it ends on the 15th of September forever, ever, forever, ever. Forever, ever. And then I'm taking a vacation. Okay? So, <laughs> this is what I have for my Leos, my babies. Um, to my new subscribers, welcome to the family. Welcome to our dysfunctional loving family. We grow. We evolve. We don't fight. We don't fuss. We we do cuss a little bit. But we leave that negative shit on other people's channel. Because Mocha don't play that shit. We don't do it. Alright? Um, we just evolve. We grow. We share. Okay? And thank you for every single comment, every single share, every single subscribe, every single view. Y'all, I'm so humbly grateful thank you so very much all right so i'm not gonna cry and shit we get in we rocking all right so from the 15th to the 30th of september what my leos can expect okay the first message comes from the crystal angels oracle cards by doreen virtue the message that wanted to pop out for my leos is during this time is opal it says let yourself sparkle and shine you're guided to be bold and show your bigger than life side to the world time for y'all let that fire burn let it burn okay now's the time to reveal your personality and shine brightly this card comes up whenever you have been hiding your light for for a fear of being too, <laughs> let me i forgot to put the emphasis on this shit for a fear of being <laughs> too much <laughs> you are guided to show your larger than life side laugh heartily express your opinions freely dress boldly Mm -hmm. And don't hold back. You inspire others to shine their light through the living, through your living example. This card can also be a sign of expressing and clearing any anger that you've been repressing in a relationship. In particular, take healthy action in marriage where hitting resentment has negatively affected the romance and friendship within the partnership. Marital counseling or meditation is advised to bring about healing and resolution. It's time to connect. It's time to heal, baby. Hence, Mother Guy wants to speak this out. Let's heal. It's a very healing time for Leos. Some of you have to heal from possibly father issues, okay, which has to do with why you're attracting the people that you attract in your life who have this sort of sense around them. It's like different people with the same face, okay? And I feel like you're needing to heal from repressed issues with your father. Let's go ahead and get deep. It's time to heal, okay? Guy said don't hold back, and it's funny that your message that you pulled said don't hold back, so... Mocha being your fellow fire sign in Aries, maybe we ain't holding back. And I got all this Pisces running in my moon, so we going to rock, all right? Some of you <laughs> some of you have actually found that route, okay, through wisdom, through actually shining the light in the midst of darkness through your situation. Some of you are learning how to turn your pain into power during this time, okay? And for some of you, you're sages. You're very intuitive, and you understand that this was destined. Your life was destined to go this way. Now you understand that the experiences that you've lived through have made you wise, and it was destined to be that way because a lot of y'all are enlighteners to other people, okay? You bring the beauty to things. Some of you all really need to work on your sacral chakra as well as your root chakra during this time because your heart chakra is opening up but you're not able you're not allowing yourself to feel okay the transformation that is going on internally with you so spirit is calling for you to be more receiving some of you instead of feeling okay you putting on this little you putting on this poker face for some of you it have to do with children okay you feel you you, you you're living in a material plane to avoid the reality of what's here within the 3D that you need to face, okay? And for some of you, you're really trying to ground yourself. You're trying to ground yourself during this time. And some of y'all are using finances in order to do so. Watch your spending during this time, Leo, okay? Also, remorse. Some of y'all are feeling very remorseful when it comes to dealing with the Pisces, okay? 
And I say the Pisces because of the fish here, but I feel like some of you are looking back at your past and you're feeling very remorseful towards it versus actually getting the lesson and the wisdom out of the situation that's going to balance Help to balance your masculine and your feminine energies during this time. Some of y'all are coming together with the soulmate that is a fire sign and you're needing healing. Okay, the towers must fall, baby, in order for newness, for the new foundation to be built on structure. Okay, I do see some of you are dealing with an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, you're, during this time, there is going to be a restart, reset with this person. However, there is some healing needed to be done, especially if there is a marriage situation and it does involve children. I feel like, again, yeah, someone wants to start over with you. Somebody wants this Ace of Cups, Leo. Somebody knows that you're their divine partner. For some of you, it's an Aries. For some of you, it is a Pisces. Okay? I feel like there's definitely some healing that needs to be done around communication during this time that is going to be done. Okay? Because I feel... Well, it's funny. I'm just talking and laying. But like there's some healing needing to be done around communication. Okay? You needing to heal the way that you communicate with one another because I feel like you're not finding any type of resolution to the situation yet adding fuel to the fire. Okay, and this could be someone doing this to you. I feel like, especially if you're married to someone, some of you could have had a third party situation in the past, okay? And it could have someone could have made a baby on you, Leo, straight up, especially if you're married to somebody and this person is a Libra. But some of you you cut somebody off, okay? Leo, I do see you cut somebody off and start new. You're gonna be cutting especially if it's a Libra. Or Gemini. Some of y'all are going to be cutting off a Libra or Gemini during this time to start doing work on yourself. Internally, you've been conflicted about doing this for some time because of, for some of you, you rode for this person and you didn't want to see it. But you feel like this person made you feel like a fool. Okay? And it's not for you to live in that energy. Okay? It's for you to learn from it and grow from it. Give that same energy to yourself. Be loyal to yourself because you can't expect loyalty from people with disloyalty quality, with disloyal qualities. And these people have shown you this in the past, but now it's time for you to make a move. Where are you going? Okay? But some of you, spirit is calling for you to be patient with your Pisces, baby. Be patient in that situation. For some of you, this is a divine lover. For some of you, it's a twin flame. But this person, okay? For some of you, it's also a Sagittarius, all right? But expansion is definitely coming. Change is coming to a dynamic, all right? And I do see it's a well-weighted change. For some of you, you've waited for the last four years, five years. But I feel like you're ready to make that move now. Now you're ready to balance things out. You're ready to make. You're ready to take that leap of faith. You're ready to jump off the cliff, baby, all right? And for some of you, it's going to be a good look because you're jumping right into the Ace of Cups, but you're going to have to heal the situation and communicate. Some of you are... Some of you have a Taurus that's been expressing their love to you, and you've been in this damn energy because of what you've been through in the past, possibly from a Gemini, okay? Some of you, I told you, you're definitely dealing with your twin flame during this time. For some of y'all, it's a Pisces. For some of you, it is another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag, and y'all was beefing at one period. But you're not knowing and trusting that God works through people to understand that change and shifts are coming to the dynamic you just have to be more optimistic here or another five some of y'all are definitely loving on the tourists right now and some of y'all gonna fall right in the hands of the tourists okay after working on yourself and after internally fighting yourself for so damn long some of y'all are stabilizing your home some of y'all are some of y'all are going to be moving to higher levels of commitment some of y'all are engaged and some of y'all finna be engaged getting engaged during this time congratulations some of y'all gonna be finding out you having new babies after you didn't cut the damn daddy off who's possibly an air sign Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and you're needing to communicate effectively, really heal from what was, what once was, in order to rebuild, restructure, okay? In order to rebuild, restructure off a foundation that was simply formed off of this. It's good sex and fight. Fucking and fight, okay? So I still, I strongly see some of y'all are kind of internally confused. You're not wanting to see the beauty that's right in front of you because you want to think about the hell that you've been through in the past and you making your Taurus accountable, for your own indecision, for your own mental conflict, for your own clarity. You're doing that's not right, Leo. And I know it's Leo doing it. For some of you, you have a Taurus. Okay. This person is very abundant. This could also be a Virgo or a Capricorn. This person is very, very, very abundant. Okay. But for some of you, some of you, you focusing on your damn money. And some of y'all who've been trying to fight a situation, if you get into people at your job, Know this. It's happening because spirit has been trying to pull you away from this damn job. But you come internally conflicting yourself, not knowing that what's coming, what's coming in for you is better. You're going from an eight of pentacles to the king. Better expansion. Abundance. If only you stop fighting yourself. For those of you who have your own business, you've been waiting for things to fall through. It's coming. Get out your head. Get out your head. Spirit trying to bless you. Get out your head. 
Let go. Get out your head. Some of you are renewing. Some of y'all been very defensive towards the Gemini because this person don't know how to fuck to talk to you. Spirit needs you to heal from that. Because for some of y'all, there is newness coming to the situation, especially if it involves children. Okay? Why is this Ace of Cups here, Spirit? Yeah. You got to receive communication from this person. For some of you, it's a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Strong Aries vibes. Strong Saggy vibes. It's time for you and this person to go into a new cycle. You're ending a cycle of conflict with hopes from spirit that you learn from it, okay? So that you don't find yourself back in that place. And when you find yourself getting back in that place, you can recognize it, okay? Because for some of y'all, it's about reuniting your family. For some of you, you've been trying to manifest this for the longest. Don't let pride be the biggest killer of what it is that you want. Yeah. Some of y'all, this person wants to give equally to you now. Before, there wasn't an equal level of give and take. But some of y'all feel like that's if you're dealing with an earth sign or a water sign. For some of you, you got a damn Libra. They don't know how the fuck to talk to you. And you, you, you've you dis dismissed yourself, or you will be, during this time to show this person to put some fucking respect on it. Okay? I am seeing that some of y'all cut somebody off due to a child. Especially if this person is an air sign. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I am seeing a child made out of wedlock. I'm seeing that... <laughs> you love this person because you know marriage is marriage is not perfect you're going to go through some ups and downs it's a happy home it's heaven you better know you're going to go through some hell to get to that point so just understand and accept the fact some of you don't know if you want to put in the work or not if you want to let it go some of y'all are going through a legal system i mean going through changes with your job some of y'all are going through some of y'all are suing your job during this time and know that justice is, is going to work in your favor, okay? Because you've already gathered your damn facts and got all your ducks in a row. Some of y'all are very indecisive about two soulmates. Some of y'all is a water sign in the Aries. Some of y'all is the Gemini and the damn Pisces, okay? I feel that <clears throat> some of y'all, <laughs> here we go. Didn't I tell y'all this damn Pisces? And it came out the temperance card, clarified the temperance card with the ace of rods and the damn lovers card. So just know if you've been running from this Pisces, over your own internal conflict, they ain't going nowhere. It's faded. That's your twin, baby. So if you come out of a marriage and boom, Pisces just come knock you off your damn feet. No, that's your twin, baby. For some of y'all, it's a Sagittarius. Some of y'all are definitely balancing things and how things are done when it comes to dealing with children. Some of y'all are in love with a Capricorn, but this person can be narcissistic as fuck. And you have dealt with another person like that, and it's making you conflicted on moving forward with this person. Do I move forward or do I cut them off? For some of you, you're going to cut them off. Because I feel like this is somebody from your past. And I feel like you been you were being defensive toward this person, not knowing what the hell, why you were even doing it, but your intuition is sharp. You were trusting yourself. Some of y'all are focusing on work. Some of y'all just really focusing on your coins. Some of y'all have been internally conflicted about working it out, working out a situation with a Sagittarius, okay, or a situation that you feel stagnant in. Some of y'all are at this job, you feel stuck. And you fighting yourself, not knowing that if you have blind faith and fall off the cliff and move forward, my babies, you have no, you are the motherfucking magician. Put some respect on your own damn name. La, 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 Leo, say that shit. Say it loud. You understand? You the magician when it comes to your money. Master manifesto. As above, so below. That is the beauty that your fixed energy brings to things, okay? I am seeing some of y'all, especially some of y'all, some of y'all want to have a water sign coming full, full throttle, full throttle at your ass, coming forward towards you to give you love. And some of you are like, uh, I don't know. Some of y'all are going to judge, I mean, some judge, some of y'all are going to juggle a water sign and an earth sign, or this is happening to you. OK, but I feel like you need to make a judgment call, especially when it comes to resurrecting a family, something that once was dead, something that you've been mentally juggling with and mentally fighting yourself about because you know that you have to do what's right. Leo is fixed as above, so below the middle of the heavens and the earth, baby. Communication is definitely going to be an issue this month. Watch how you communicate. And if you can't find yourself actively, because some of y'all communication is going to be the reason I don't read reverse. The spirit said leave it. But this is going to be the reason. Why you don't take that offer from either an earth sign or this is the reason why you can't move forward with an offer from an air sign. You don't know how to fuck to talk to me. Okay? So some of y'all are going to have to remove yourself from the situation in order to bring the beauty to things because this person got to know what it's like. So you had three, three cups. They spilled over now. This is what was done. Now we have this to move forward on. But well, we're going to get out of this place. We're going to get out of this place. And it's about communicating. Some of y'all are going to receive some truth and clarity about somebody who was attached to a family situation as well. 
You didn't know why this person was in and out your life. Well, boom, that's why. Because they already have a family. Some of y'all going to find that out. And it's going to make you feel already neglected and rejected and betrayed or whatever. But these secrets need to be revealed. Especially if it have to come, if it have to do with an air sign. Libra on the air sign or Gemini. Okay, I'm also seeing Virgo. Some of y'all who are dealing with Virgo, Taurus, Pisces, Libra, Aries, you're going into a new cycle with this person, okay? And for some of you, it's an Aquarius. It's your wish. If you were wondering about this Aquarius, should I move forward with this person? You know, because I just moved away from a turbulent situation and I don't know what's going on, but I, my heart is, my heart just feels so big and radiant. You know why? Because your Ace of Cups is here and it's what you manifest and it's what you wish. But you wasn't counting on things having to fucking be removed and be out the picture. God is not the author of confusion. So just know, ain't nobody coming together with you if they marry with somebody else and they move in a healthy direction unless it's done with order. Everything you have to respect, order, structure, and law. Karma as well. Because that's the baddest bitch alive. And that that bitch don't have no expiration dates, okay? And I call her a bitch from a place of love because I don't play with her like that, okay? So move away. Move away from what once. Move one. Move away to turbulent. Move away to away from turbulent waters. Move away to a, a a much peaceful time. For some of you, you're moving away from a cancer. Okay, you love this person, all right? But for some of y'all, y'all, some of y'all had a cancer leave you for Aries, and you're gonna leave a cancer for Aries. But some of y'all definitely got a lot of love for the sign of Cancer, Pisces, Aries, Taurus. Capricorn is here, Virgo is here, and Sagittarius is here, okay? So, y'all, you are going to be reuniting with someone, and they are going to be willing to put in the work if only you can move away from past issues. And for some of you, you're going to move right on into a damn marriage with a tourist, all right? This is what I have for my Leos between the 15th and the 30th of September. I love you very, very, very much, and if you need that personal, hit me up, boo. Mwah.